the schedule for the rest of the semester. I want you to know that the I'm wonderful the thing about the heating and air conditioning business is that it uh, it translates throughout the United States. There's jobs everywhere. Uh, most every company is looking for employees, especially entry level, that have come out of a program like this. Uh, all kinds of opportunities. Opportunities that Palomar students are taking to heart, with some getting started on their careers early. Just getting the knowledge just from the couple weeks of just going to school and getting an actual job in the industry has helped me push past a lot of the people there that don't know. And it's just a super easy class and has helped me just do better in the workforce, pretty much. It's just helped me push myself ahead versus people that have not taken any classes. One, two, three measures. These quick and common success stories are thanks in large part to Palomar's faculty and their decades of experience in the field. Uh, I've got a long background uh, in the private sector myself, so uh, I just bring that uh, real life circumstances and um, information to the students. So they, they know what they're up against and uh, kind of pay that they'll be expecting to start out and um, where their career can go as time goes on. A career path and field that's constantly changing as time goes on. Changes Professor Valentine is making sure are reflected in his classroom and curriculum. And now recently it's more uh, uh, global warming potential that some of the refrigerants are having issues towards that and we've got we've to just modify the types of refrigerants we use and keep all the students up to speed on all the changes. Like all of Palomar's programs, HVAC accepts students of any age, race, or gender. Gerardo Rodriguez, a student in Palomar's HVAC program, proves that while university and four-year degrees may not be for everyone, bettering yourself through education is always a smart option. I feel, I mean, I'm 36 years old, and I feel like um, don't buy into the lie that um, it's just school, just school, get a degree in something. If you're good with your hands, um, if you like uh, challenges, uh, Try something different. This, you know, it's trade school. You can major in this too, but it's just uh, don't be afraid. There's a lot of other ways you can make money. Other ways of making money in an industry that may surprise you. And our teacher is super fun. He makes it really easy to understand, and it's just something that you wouldn't really think you would want to get into. But if you look more into it, it's it can actually pretty be pretty be a pretty fun job for people.